<clears throat> okay, I'm about to attempt to replace the rear transmission mount on a 2002 Chrysler Town and Country. Now there's a, uh, first I gotta take this, I believe it's made out of tin, this shield off. By unclipping this wire, I already kind of took it off, but it clips, clips onto the edge there. And then take this, I don't know what they're called, some kind of fastener that holds it onto, here's the new one, that holds it onto this little dimple thing. But anyhow, there's two bolts on the back side, and then one bolt on the engine side. To me, it looks like... I may have to, uh, we'll see those two metal pipes, they kind of block the left bolt if you're facing the front of the engine. So, I have to try to get that out of the way, out of the way. And there's a clip right here, maybe I have to take off and just try to bend it to the left a little bit. Or maybe spread it. I'll probably try to bend it to the left to get our see if I can get a ratchet up in there. But first things first, I'll try to take this tin heat shield off. So I bought some screwdrivers and I'll try to pry that up. All right. Okay, I got the keeper pin off from right there, but. It feels like there's a bolt on top. I think people online said it's 10 millimeters, so I have a little ratcheting wrench. I'll see if I can get it up with that, so. Okay, I forgot to mention that. See, my in, my transmission, whenever I'd engage it and drive, the whole uh, frame of the van would just, the dash and everything would vibrate really bad. And then I replaced this transmission mount see how bad the old one was it's just completely gone and that's the one that goes underneath the, the battery well anyhow after i replaced it a lot of the vibration is gone but i'm going to go ahead and take a look at that one after i see if maybe this 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench will take the top bolt to get the cover off. See how this this heat shield came off with this 10 mil millimeter ratcheting wrench I have. These are really handy for tight spots. But I'm gonna look up on top because that far back bolt that's up towards the engine it uh I mean, it looks like there's some kind of bracket over the top. Let me look at that. Okay, is so what I had done with the transmission mount. Is so far I've gotten the bolt on the engine side. It's on the far back. It's way back there. But is what I did is I had my feet towards the passenger side. And then I positioned myself where my right hand, because I'm right-handed, I had my right hand on a ratchet and you just basically have to go up and down inside this window that's on the bracket. There's like a bracket uh, on the engine side with a window and you drop a socket and an extension down onto a 15 millimeter bolt and uh, and you grab onto the handle so you got strength on see how there's like a I don't know if it's an axle or what you call this but or the subframe I don't know but you have your let me see if it focuses better Let's see if it focuses okay so I had my right hand on this side of it for the strength and then 
I don't know if that's a heater core or what, but I had my left hand on the other side stabilizing the extension and making sure it was straight on, real square, so I didn't round off the bolt. And then I just wrenched it off. But now I'm going to try to get this one over here that has these pipes in the way, but I took this bracket off right here so it has more movement to it. And I took the little bolts off this heat shield so I can slide it out of the way so I can get to that, that bolt right there. So that's my next step. Okay, here's the motor mount and see how the shield... Well, I dropped the this heat shield and got on the back side of it to get that left bolt and I double wrenched it to break it loose. Now I'm using a ratcheting wrench to get it the rest of the way. Get it the rest of the way out. Where are you there, Heather? The old one's out. I brought it outside so I could get better lighting. So here's the new one. It has all the rubber. But the old one, it was completely just shot. Where the center bolt hole was completely separated from the rubber. But it already made a significant difference when I replaced the transmission mount under the battery. You know, so I'm thinking once I put this one in, the transmission should run really smooth. But anywho, it made a big difference already with the, the one under the battery. Every time I kept, every time I'd stick it in drive, and I was at a stop, the dash and everything would vibrate really bad. But anyhow, I'll go ahead and stick the new one in. Anyhow, I'll go ahead and reverse the process. I'll put the bolts that, uh, the bolts that anchor it to the frame first. And then I'll see how the hole lines up to that one long horizontal bolt that bolts it onto the transmission. I might have to jack it up a little bit to line the hole up since it was, I'm sure, sagging quite a bit. But then once I do that, then I can put the shield back up and... Uh, Put the bracket back on that goes to these two pipes that I had to kind of move out of the way and put the shield back on. It has like four screws, little screws for the shield that I loosened up. You know, I loosened up so I could get to that left bolt. But to me, the trickiest bolt is that one that's. Let me get the lighting better. That one that's back behind this back plate right here. See that back plate right there? It's like back behind it. Where you have to have one arm on this side of, I don't know if it's called the subframe or whatever, and then one arm over on the other side to kind of guide it in. Uh, let's see. Anywho, I'll start uh, working on that. <clears throat> I tightened down the three bolts that bolt down to the frame. And then the big long one that goes through the center of the transmission mount. But for the hole to line up for the transmission mount for the horizontal bolt, I had to jack the, I had to jack up the transmission and the, even the engine to get the hole to, for everything to rise up to get the hole lined up again. It was sagging so much. But anyhow, I tightened down the bolts to the transmission mount. And I uh, put the bracket back on the metal 
tubes and the and the bracket itself that anchors it to the to the uh, frame and then I screwed back on or bolted back on the heat shield that protects uh, everything from the exhaust but all that's left now is to put the shield back on the transmission mount that protects the rubber from the heat that is emitting off the exhaust line so it doesn't break down so fast and i believe it was a 10 millimeter that goes to put the to put the shield back on and then just clip it clip it back on right there and uh, that should be it. Then I just got to put the wheel back on, jack her down and stuff, and see how she works.